Uh, welcome everyone. This is algebra exam online. Follow me to solve it. Uh, question number two. For each value of y, determine whether um, it's a solution of y equals. You have equation y over uh, 2 plus 9 is equal to 7, just minus 9 each side. y over 2 is equal to minus 9, minus 9. You have negative 2 and just multiply by 2 each side. You get y is negative 4. So uh, you select here only negative 4, the other values incorrect. Okay. Continue this one. Okay. Uh, the next question here is this one. Uh, two plus W over three is negative 10 simplify. So uh, as you see here, you can, you can solve uh, um, this question by writing uh, two plus W over three is equal to negative 10, switch the two sides of the equation. And after that W over three, is equal to negative 10 minus two, just minus two each side, okay? So W over three is negative 12, simply W is equal to negative 36 by multiplying each side by three. Thank you so much. So just enter your answer here, a negative 36, and this is answer. Okay, continue. This question here, the equation uh, u over two minus 21 is negative 15 is solved in, in several steps below. Um, for each step, choose uh, the reason that best justifies. The first equation given equation, what happened here? This is addition, um, is called addition property of equality because he added 21 to each side. And after that, he simplified. This is a simplification, simplifying. Any addition, you add, subtract, you do any mathematical operation, it's a simplification because really um, he simplified the other options, only simplifying because he had. And after that, he multiplying by two multiplication property of equality, multiplication property of equality, and you equal this, this is a simplification or simplifying, check your answer is correct. Thank you, continue. Uh, 5y minus, uh, just we solve always my, my dear students, we solve um, equation by a simply um, inverse operation. You have this equation, 5y minus 11.2 is equal to 1.3, simply just to add 11.2 to each side by addition property of equality. So 5y is really, the point to five is 12. And after that, divide by five, divide by five, you get the answer. So y is really 2.5. Okay, just enter the answer here, 2.5. Very easy, very simple. Yes? Yeah. Check. Continue, correct answer. Come to this one now. A linear equation, solve it as normal. It's easy now for you. Now you can stop the video and you do it yourself with this. Please stop the video and uh, do uh, the question and solve the equation. Uh, I try to collect really uh, the 18, um, the 18x and 14x in one side. It's actually it will be 18 minus 14 for x. And the negative 21, just to bring it the 23 uh, in the right hand side by negative sign. So the 4x is actually negative uh, 44. So the x is negative 11, very easy and very simple. Just enter here, negative 11. Thank you so much. Continue. Okay, correct answer. Also, linear equation, very easy today, the day of linear equation today. Um, start negative three X, just removing the bracket, negative three times X, negative three X plus three is equal to negative seven X minus 17 just to add seven X to each side to remove any X on the, in the right-hand side. This is the right-hand side, and this is the left-hand side. So you have four X plus three is equal to negative 17. Minus three, minus three, you have four X is equal to negative 20. Over four, over four, you have X negative five. Thank you, finish. Very simple, very easy. Negative five, check, and Continue. The next question, 3xy is equal to w solve for, solve for x. So solution for x here, it means make x a subject of the formula. You have 3xy is equal to w, simply 
divide each side by three y and three y. Now three y is canceled out. You have x alone. You have x a subject. W over three y, very easy, very simple. Just to make a fraction and write, uh, let me see it again, sorry. W over three y, yes. W, W over three y, finish. This is the answer, check and continue. Okay, uh, 4B plus 4C is equal to A, make B a subject the same way. The B here will be uh, A minus uh, 7C over four. You can make it mentally if you can. The B, if you make it a subject by the same way I did a um, um, few minutes ago or this minute, A minus 7C, I just move C on the other side, A, uh, minus 70 over uh, four. Thank you, this is the answer. You can do it step by step if you want. Next question is, solve for B. If you have a B in a bracket and you want to make B a subject, you have to remove the bracket. So the M is multiplied by B minus one. I just write, I started the equation with the M, no problem. Multiplication is coming out of it. So MB minus M is actually, it's R. Uh, you want to be subject, B is only in this term, just to move negative M the other side, so R plus M, okay? B, M now is R plus M, you divide each side by, um, uh, to make B, I divide by M, of course. So you have R plus M over M, okay? Just right here, R plus M, the R is small, no problem. R plus M over M. Thank you, this is the answer. This is the B as a subject, and you can check your answer. After that, solve for G, make G a subject, by the same way G inside the bracket, you have to remove the bracket to be able to, be able to make G a subject. Or it's better now to just remove the half. You have half G plus H minus K is equal to F. Just if you multiply each side by two, now you don't have any number. You have G plus H minus K is equal to two F, yes? Um, minus H plus K, minus H plus K. Now you have G subject, finish. Two F minus H plus K. Yeah, pretty nice. Two F minus H plus K. Just write it here. Again, to H my no to F. I'm sorry. To F minus H plus K. And this is the answer. Okay. You can think in math. All right, math, math. The, the magnificent world. Amazing world of mathematics. I always say like this. Bill sold the t-shirt and the and the hats at a festival. He made $3 profit for each t-shirt he sold. He also made a profit $45 from selling hats, hats, all hats. So 45 now here is a, is a, a constant term, okay? If he made a total of $39, $93, sorry, a profit of $93, how many t-shirts did he sell? Write an equation, the first of all, the X is the number of, let X is the number of, uh, uh, represent the number of T-shirt. He profited $3 for each of them. So he profit, the profit now is three X's, plus um, the total number of his profit in, in selling hats, 45, is equal to total profit, he gained 93, thank you. That, that's one, okay? Solve the equation in part A. He gives you two options here, maybe plus or minus. It's a plus because the total profit is the sum of all profits he gets. Solve uh, the equation in part A to find the number of T-shirts. Oh, it's very easy. Just write the equation. Let me solve together in the here on the screen. Okay. Uh, just, uh, you can just, uh, I won't select, uh, no problem. I can use the red color here to solve. So you have equation three X plus 45 is equal to 93. Okay, minus 45 and minus 45. So three X is equal to 
13 minus 5 is 8, and the 9 becomes 8. 8 minus 4 is 4, and divide over 3 over 3, x is equal 16. Thank you so much. So uh, the number of t shirt he solved is 16 t shirt. Continue. Yes. And let me solve with you only some questions. You continue the, uh, the, the rest in your own. Okay, uh, Carlos and Elsa each opened the saving account today. Carlos opened his saving with starting amount is $320 and is going to put $85 per month. Elsa opened the account with it with a starting amount of $820 and she is going to put $3,500 per month. Let X be the number of month in, after today. For each account, write an expression for the amount of money in, in the account after X month. The amount of money in cars in, in how many? We just write, okay, equation here, uh, not equation, an expression to write the number of account. Look at the first line again, the Carlos opened with um, 320. So you have 320 as a constant, as a constant term, plus uh, uh, he puts 85, okay? Just, uh, where is 85 here? 85 uh, per month. Just instead of the word the per month, just write the number of month, which is X. Thank you. This expression represent the balance of, um, Carlos after X amount. The same here for Elsa, you can simply write uh, 820, 820 plus um, 35 only per month, no X, okay. Write an equation to show that the two uh, accounts uh, would have uh, the same amount. Yeah, the equation is just equate them. Here writing the equation, no need to solve. Yeah, no need to solve. Just write the first equation equals second equation. Just write uh, equal here. No, I'm sorry, no, it's wrong. Just make click here first and then make equal sign and then en enter the two amounts. 320 plus 85 X is equal to the other equation is the other side. 820 plus um, 35 X. Thank you, that's it. Okay, correct answer, thank you. Uh, the next question is, the length of a rectangle is two yards longer than the width. If the perimeter of a rectangle is 64 yards, find its length and width. Very easy and famous question, my daughters and boys. Look at this one, just to draw a rectangle to see the question. Okay, a rough rectangle like me here. The length of a rectangle is two, just to two more than, more than what? The width, okay. Width plus two, this is the same width, okay? Two yards more longer than the width. So I have the width here and also here. Opposite sides of rectangle are the same. But the perimeter, you know, is, uh, is, is 64. The perimeter is the sum of all sides. Just to add, you have really four Ws, okay? One, two, three, four. And you have two numbers, two plus two is four. So four W plus four is equal to 64 minus four minus four. And 4w is equal to 60 over 4 over 4w equals 15. So the length here, let me start with w is 15, the w, and uh, the length is um, 15 plus 2, which is 17. Be careful, 17 is a prime number. Yes, yes, correct under, thank you. Thank you, program. Let's continue here. Solve the equation. 11 over V is five over seven. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. Yeah. What's the meaning of this? I have a proportion. 11 over V and V is not zero. Yes. Again, 11 over V is equal to five over seven. So when you multiply five V is the same as seven times 11. 77. The V is 77 over 5. Divide each side by 5. Use the calculator now. 77 divided by 5. Round to your tenth. It's already rounded. It's already to the new tenth. 
77 divided by five, I got the answer 15.4. 15.4, it's already round. No need to do any extra things. Correct answer, continue. I solve with you until question number 20, and then we make other video to the list of questions, okay? Solve for you. Oh, let's solve together. Very easy and very nice. Let's make it. Uh, just I use a blue color to, a uh, blue color is better. Uh, look. Uh, you have two over uh, u minus three is equal to three over five. Cross multiplication because the product of means equal product of extremes for any proportion. So three times u minus three, the same two times five. Three u minus nine is equal to 10, add nine, add nine. So three u is equal to 19. The one u is 19 over three. I won't round. Simplify your answer as much as possible. So it's better here to make it a mixed number. So 19 divided by three, how can you solve it? 19 divided by three, the nearest number is six. And six and three is 18. The rest is one. So the answer is six and one over three, six and one over three. Let's make like this, six and one over three. Yes, music, mathematics, support music, music support math. Yeah, we have now the X is uh, mentioned twice in the equation, but still, um, a not linear equation. I cannot say that this is a linear equation. So, but you can write it in the form of linear equation and solve it. Let's do it. 15 over X minus one is equal to 12 over X. Before you cross multiply, you can simplify simply uh, 12 and, and 15, yeah. Both in table three, divide by three, four, divide by three, five. Now you can cross multiply. So the five X is equal to four and two X minus one, four X minus four by, by using distributive property, minus four X each side. So the X is negative four, thank you. So go to this one and write a negative four. Continue. We are question number 18 now. Okay, graph the inequality below on the number line x bigger than or equal, uh, or equal one. It means all real numbers that bigger than one and the number one itself. So uh, you have equal here in the inequality, just did they make a closed point and go to this closed point to one, this one. And after that, make a line from one here. Be, be, of course, bigger than, make it to right. All numbers bigger to the right of one on the number line, bigger than one. Thank you, finish, that's it. No more. Continue. Yeah, um, be careful of, of this inequality because the coefficient of y is negative. We may do something different. I, here I have negative 12 less than negative 2v. First of all, if you multiply the two sides inequality by negative one, I have to switch the side. Yeah, really, yeah. 12 will be bigger than 2v. And after that, divide by two to remove this two and read the inequality from v. v now is smaller than six. So uh, just write um, smaller, take this one and write v smaller than six. And this is the answer, okay? I hope everything, be nice with you and you understand what I said today. The last question for this video, question number 20. Solve the inequality for y. Okay, let's solve it together. Solving linear inequality is very similar to solving uh, with a solving a linear equation. We use, um, we use what? We use the inverse operation method like this. Let's, let me show you, three y minus 13. Bigger than or equal eight. So 
plus 13, plus 13, to remove negative 13. See why? Because the answer equals 21 over 3, over 3. Why? Bigger than or equal 7. Very easy. Just make it bigger than or equal to this one. So why is bigger than or equal 7? Thank you. Yes, correct. So I save my work until today and next time we continue, inshallah. Thank you so much, my students. I hope everyone be good and safe. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye.